Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech and this is just a quick overview of Resurrection ROM running on MI4. So this is just a TSF shell launcher. So let me just show you the Resurrection ROM home launcher. So this is the stock launcher and we got and it has been changed to the Android M launcher. So now you get this style of a view and you can simply swipe below to directly go to the alphabet or list of apps starting with that particular alphabet. So these are the notifications and if I scroll down I get these toggles. Let me just show you the about phone details. So this is the Resurrection ROM Remix LP and it is running on Android 5.1.1. We got super user inbuilt into the system. So these are the settings. These are the normal settings that you find on any device. But additionally for personalization on Resurrection ROM you get these three. One is for configuration and if you go to configuration you can tweak the status bar. So you can put a brightness control on the status bar. You can show the notification count. You can indicate the super user. You can even add a task manager but if you add it the notification toggles will be removed. You can have your own greeting message and you can even display the traffic usage. So there you have it, the network traffic information on the status bar. Next if you go to miscellaneous, we can change the different animation styles and we can even add a pie control or gestures or app circle bar and we can change the recent panel. Let me just show you the recent panel. So these are all the list of apps and on the top you have the free RAM status. Let me just close all the apps. Now as you can see the free RAM has increased to about 1.4 GB. So that's pretty nice. And everything works very smoothly. No problem at all. The only problem that I faced is there is no haptic feedback or vibration. So when you get a call your phone won't vibrate and, and there is no haptic feedback at all. So the developers are working on it but so far there is no improvement but we can definitely expect them to update it or pass the issue in the future update. So let's look at the other things. We have the lock screen settings over here. So you can change the shortcuts or quick shortcuts from here and enable or disable the music visualization on the lock screen. Next we have notification drawer settings where we can add or remove or reorder the tiles or toggles. So these are the list of toggles that I have currently enabled. Let me just show you the notification. So these are all the toggles and I have arranged it in that way. And these are some other settings. Next we have buttons. We can enable on screen navigation buttons by pressing this button. We have both the navigation bar buttons and the hardware buttons. If you don't want to use the hardware buttons, simply disable this option and and if you want to enable the on-screen buttons, you can enable this option. You can use both at the same time and you have tons of customizations related to that. Next we have the themes section, wherein which we can download the themes of CyanogenMod and apply them to it. As of now, I am using this second pitch black dark red theme and we can change to any other theme very easily. Finally we have this performance where we can change the performance mode or enable per app profiles and even change the IO scheduler. So that's pretty much it guys. The other settings are very similar to what you find on Cyanogen mod. So as you can see the device is working without any lag and it's very very smooth and even the battery life is great. Let me just show you that. So these are the stats and, and it's been working pretty great without any problem and I've been tweaking with it a lot and still I'm getting great battery life. Just like the MIUI ROM, this resurrection ROM does heat up the device. So for that I have just underclocked the device. Let me just show you. So I'm using this particular app no frills CPU control 
and I've set the maximum clock frequency to 1.9 GHz and that's pretty much it and since then the CPU temperature is a little bit better than what it used to be so as of now even while I'm doing a screencast the temperature is 52 degrees and normally without underclocking the CPU it would have probably been at 60 to 65 degrees which would make the top part of the grill very hot to even catch so that's it guys thanks for watching the video if you want to reduce the CPU temperature this is one thing that you can do just underclock the frequency and still you won't get any lag or you won't feel any considerable lag everything is buttery smooth just like as you've seen just now and yeah one other thing that I forgot is the camera app is not working so I am using camera FX presently and it works without any problem you might not get the best quality images just like the stock MI4 camera app but if you don't care about the camera and just want to use the phone at its optimum level then switch to resurrection ROM or else stick with MIUI where you can get great images but the UI is not as good as this so that's it guys thanks for watching the video I hope you found this video to be helpful if you like this video hit the like button and if you don't leave a comment below this video to let me know why and please subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this